Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious tzatziki sauce. To stay up to date with everything that I do, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'll be posting how-to videos, recipes, tips, tricks, and secrets. So let's get started. For this recipe, I'll be using half a cucumber. The first thing we're going to do is take off the end and peel the cucumber. Then in a bowl, on a cheese grater, we're going to grate the cucumber. Being careful not to get your fingers. Now that we've done that, I'm going to add a big pinch of salt. And what this will do is this will draw the water out of the cucumber and then we'll drain it off. And then we'll mix the salt into the cucumber. Now that that's done, we're going to let the cucumber sit for 15 minutes. Whilst we're waiting for the cucumber, we'll add our yogurt to a bowl. In here, I have a cup and a half. We're then going to add two teaspoons of freshly minced garlic. One teaspoon of white vinegar. And two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're then going to mix all that together. Now I'm going to put this aside and chop up our fresh herbs. Traditional Greek tzatziki usually only has dill in it, but for this recipe, I'm going to be adding mint as well, as I like the taste. Now for this recipe, I'm going to be using eight mint leaves and two tablespoons worth of dill. I'm now going to thinly slice the mint and chop up the dill. Now we're going to add the herbs to the yogurt. We're then going to stir all this in. We're now going to put this aside and drain off our cucumber. In a large bowl, I have some thick kitchen cloth. I'm going to pour the cucumber onto it. We're then going to wrap up the cucumber and squeeze that excess moisture out. We're then going to add the squeezed cucumber to the yogurt mix and mix that around. I'm going to check that for seasoning. Definitely need some pepper. And a small pinch of salt. But keep in mind with the salt level as you added salt to the cucumber at the beginning. With most recipes, the seasoning is to your taste. I'm now going to wrap this with cling wrap and put it in the fridge to allow all the flavors to combine and enhance. After about three hours in the fridge, your tzatziki sauce will be perfectly done. I'm now going to transfer this to a bowl. and drizzle with some olive oil. And I'm going to serve this up with some pita bread. And that's it. Quick and simple, delicious tzatziki sauce. I really hope I was able to teach you something in this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to like, share, and comment down below of what you think. And if there's any recipes that you'd like to see me make, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to make them. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.